Arizona's unrelenting heat creating dangerous conditions for hikers and rescue crews. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Rachel Cole. And I'm Mike Gonzalez. Thanks for being with us tonight. Despite the scorching heat, some hikers still have not learned their lesson. Crews were called out to rescue multiple hikers who were simply overcome by the extreme heat. That's right. And Team 12's Nicole Zymek spoke with crews about the problem they tend to see on a daily basis. Nicole. Yeah, Rachel, it's what six o'clock and it's still 104 degrees here in Scottsdale. Last I checked, it's just a reminder that even though this is September, we are still in triple digit heat and that made for a very busy day for not only Phoenix, but also Scottsdale fire departments with three separate mountain rescues. The first one happening here on Camelback Mountain on the other side on Choya Trail. Firefighters had to actually help down two women who were dehydrated. They were able to make it down the mountain, but they needed some help from firefighters. That wasn't the case with a 15 year old boy on South Mountain. He wasn't able to get down by himself. He was part of a group of teens hiking with adults when they all started showing signs of dehydration. The boy had to be flown off the mountain by a helicopter. The rest of the group made it down with the help of firefighters and Scottsdale firefighters helped two tired hikers off of Wingate Pass Trail. Phoenix firefighters want to tell everybody that if you're planning a hike for the next day, the best day to start uh, the best time rather to start hydrating is the night before, not when you're thirsty and already on the mountain. And they say that these are the signs you should be watching out for. If you're excessively thirsty, excessively fatigued, and especially if you're starting to experience any cramping, it's time to turn around and get off the mountain. I would say go slow. I would say make sure that uh, you know you have your cell phone readily available and if you feel like you're dizzy, if you feel like you're so fatigued that you, you can't move on, call 911 earlier than later. And another tip that Phoenix firefighters have is if you're halfway through your water, that should mean to you that you are halfway through your hike. Mike Rachel, we all know there are beautiful hiking trails here, but just a reminder to not underestimate these temperatures, even if we are in September. Thanks a lot, Nicole, for those tips again. If